Welcome to the Voice of Mathematics. In our today's lesson, we are going to answer question 11 from a 2018 Mathematics Paper 2 written in November 1st. And this question reads, answer the whole question on a sheet of graph paper. A hired bus is used to take learners and teachers on a trip. The number of learners and the teachers must not be more than 60. There must be at least 35 people on the trip. There must be at least six teachers on the trip, and the number of teachers on the trip should not be more than 14. Let X be the number of learners and Y the number of teachers. A. Write four inequalities which represent the information above. Let me show you. I we are going to write four inequalities which will represent the information above. To answer the first questions, these are inequalities that I have come up with. Y plus X or X plus Y or the same less or equal to 60. X plus Y greater than or equal to 35 y greater than 6 or y greater than or equal to 6 and d y less than or equal to 14 let's go to the next question using a scale of 2 centimeters to represent 10 units on both axes draw the x and y axis for 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 70 and 0 less than or equal to x and less than or equal to 70 respectively and shade the unwanted region to indicate clearly the region where the solution of the inequalities lie all right let me show you how to represent the following inequalities on the graph of paper Okay, to represent uh, the inequalities on the graph paper, we have x plus y less than or equal to 60, which is this one. This is x plus 1, x plus y less or equal to 60. And we have x plus y greater than or equal to 35. We have this one here. And we also have y less or equal to 14 which is this one and we have y greater than or equal to 6 and this is the line and to be specific this is the region that we are required to show with these inequal four inequalities, this is the region, region R. I've labeled it R there. Thank you so much. And let's go to the next question. Question C reads, C1. If the group has 25 learners, what is the minimum number of teachers that must accompany them? If the group has 25 learners, what is the minimum number of teachers that must accompany them? And the two, if eight teachers go to on this trip, what is the maximum number of learners that can be accommodated on the bus? If eight teachers go on this trip, what is the maximum number of learners that can be accommodated on the bus? Let's solve these two, these two questions. Okay, on a trip, there must be 35 people. And this is the equation we came up with. X plus Y greater than or equal to 35. Now, since we've been asked or told to say there are 25 learners, so since X is representing uh, learners, so we have 25 plus Y less uh, greater than or equal to 35. 
and when we solve for y we have 10 and we will say 10 teachers were present on that trip okay since on the bus there can only be 60 or less people and we've been taught to say they uh, on this trip there are only eight teachers and the remaining are learners so if we work this equation out x plus y less than or equal to 60 we'll find that 52 will be learners and that will be the answer for c2 all right let's go to the last question d reads if t is the amount of quacha paid by the whole group what is the cost per learner if t is equal to 30x plus 50y full stop if t is the amount of quacha paid by the whole group what is the cost per learner if t is equal to 30x plus 50y let's sort this one out okay since we know to say t is the total amount of money that is paid by uh, learners and the teachers so what we're going to do is uh, and we already know to say x re uh, is, re is representing the number of learners uh, while y is representing the number of teachers and if we are given this formula t equal to 30x plus 50y uh, actually the amount cost paid by Elena should be 30 kwacha should be 30 kwacha huh? that's the amount 30 kwacha thank you it has been the voice of mathematics uh, thank you so much and may god bless you all